Joining me, Madness, here at Mizzou Arena. I'll tell you what that means coming up. And you probably know it's not just basketball keeping Tiger fans busy this weekend. Tomorrow's football game against Alabama is also drawing thousands of fans to town. Lincoln University honors a former professor by dedicating a building in his name. And it's going to be an active weekend weather-wise heading into Saturday. Game for Alabama could be quite rainy. And in today's video, virus. Boy, this is a tough one. Check out how Lego Fanatic took his passion to the extreme, to say the least. Gail on your 8 News at noon starts now. From Studio 8A, coverage you can count on in high definition. This is KOMU 8. Sports Weekend, very big sports weekend for Mizzou fans. Good afternoon, I'm Angie Bailey. We'll have more on basketball in a few minutes. First, though, we're going to check in with KOMU 8 Stacey Kafka with a look at tomorrow's football game and what it's doing for Columbia Tourism. Angie, now here at Furrow Field, those bleachers right over there should be full for tomorrow's game. But I went on StubHub and Craigslist earlier, and there were over 1,500 tickets being resold for tomorrow's game. 600 of those in the student section across the field. <coughs> now, last week, the Tigers continued their losing streak in the SEC with a loss to Vanderbilt. Whether due to that, that loss or something else, a lot of local hotels still have vacancies. Um, the past looks, so I think they go straight to Emily Rogers. I think you're okay for Once they establish a game time, there's usually some shifting of hotel rooms. So that's usually where that comes into play. Once the game time and television schedule is announced, that's where the hotel shift kind of happens. Your regional airport, and although Delta doesn't have any extra flights scheduled for tomorrow, they have a lot more private landings than usual, but the weather forecast tomorrow isn't like today. It's pr bright and sunny now, but tomorrow it's supposed to rain. So they said that some of those flight schedules could be pushed back due to that rain. But Alabama fans don't seem to be worried because they haven't switched any of those landings yet. Now we're sending it from the field over to the court where KMU 8's Emily Spain joins us with a look at what Mizzou Madness is all about. Emily? Hey, Stacey, I'm here on the court inside Mizzou Arena where MU's basketball teams are going to come tonight to take part in Mizzou Madness. That's what they're calling it. The Tigers haven't put on one of these events since 2006. The night will tip off with an autograph session starting at 530. That's 30 minutes before it was originally supposed to begin um, because they're expecting a larger crowd. And then the show starts at 7 p.m. Both the men's and women's teams will scrimmage this evening and they will be showing off those new uniforms and their skills. The event is free free and open to the public. Parking is also free tonight, except for not in the RV lot that is closed off because of tomorrow's game. And MU's athletic department asks fans who do park in the lots around the arena that they move their cars by 10 p.m. for that big Bama game tomorrow. There will also be some fan contests and skill competitions, including a dunk contest. I just think that people really need to see this team because this is a extremely and totally different team from last year. I mean, I feel like the sky's the limit for this team. You know, I, I, I've never really came out and said I think we have a chance to win that championship, but with this team, I really do. The talent is there, but it's not a matter of talent. It's a matter of how well we're going to play together and how well guys are willing to give up themselves, to, you know, to help this team win. The spokesman for the MU basketball team, the men's team, told me he's not sure how many fans will come out tonight because that Cardinals game is also airing tonight, but he does encourage as many Tiger fans to get out here as possible. Now, this might convince you. I hear Coach Frank Haith is going to be teaching the crowd the popular wobble dance, so if you want to see that and, of course, the skills of the MU basketball teams, come out tonight and cheer on your Tigers. Reporting live in Columbia, Emily Spain, KMU 8 News.